You know, I understand if you're glued to your seat, but you can always get up, and if you want to walk around, you can listen to me on 1530wbob.com. We're always live streaming, or if you're in the car, you know where to find us, ABC 1530wbob. Miller on Sports is always brought to you by the law offices of Ron Scholes. Check them out at ronscholespa.com, or for a free consultation, call 904-721-7575, a law firm of military veterans fighting for you. And beginning on Monday and Tuesday, I will be at City Hall Pub doing live broadcasts from 1 until 2 p.m. every Monday and Tuesday. And, and, and just flipping through Twitter right now, thank you, AJ. Thank you for that round of applause, everybody. And an interesting little nugget, uh, former Jacksonville Jaguar Bobby McRae, the defensive end, worked out for the Oakland Raiders yesterday. So that could be kind of interesting. Three former Jaguars on that roster just alone on the defense if he makes that team and we know big, big John Henderson as well as Quentin Groves on that team if Bobby McRae does make it. Well, we've got the Jacksonville Jaguars so close. Just, what is it, two, three days, three days away now. It, it's a Thursday. This week is just flying by. And if you do, did not know already, it's a teal Sunday for Sunday's game against the Denver Broncos. Of course, it is the return of Tim Tebow. It will not be a blackout. So if you want to stay home and watch the game on TV, Kevin Harlan and Solomon Wilcox. We'll be broadcasting it. Oh, can you feel that? Tonight, game one of the National Football League. Game one, Minnesota Vikings at the New Orleans Saints, the defending Super Bowl champions, Brett Favre versus Drew Brees. I'm getting chills just thinking about it right now. Oh, just feel it. Just soak it in. Just soak it in right now. You don't have to be glued to your seat. This is the National Football League, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, don't you always hate it, though, when you make plans and you forget that it's going to be during a sporting event? That might be one of the worst feelings of all time. And I'm, I'm not going to say that tonight's event that I'm going to is a bad one. I, I love these events. But, but it's one of those things you always forget. You want to be home for, say, Game 7 of the World Series. Game 1, even if it's Game 2, Game 3. What, you want to be home for the World Series, for the Super Bowl. For some, you always want to be home for those big events. Or even if it's a party, you want to make sure that there's a good TV, you've got a seat ready, you've got, some, you got something. You've got a nice beer, some chips, you've got everything that you need. And then going out and you're like, oh, did I schedule that dinner for that game? Come on now. No, no, no. Well, it was interesting, Jack Del Rio met with the media yesterday, and I wish I could have been there, but as you know, we have Miller on Sports weekdays at 1.00. And interesting stuff that he had to say, really kind of upbeat for the most part. And one of his favorite quotes that he said yesterday is he said, we're better in the trenches this year. Well, well I'd like to think so. And, and I talked a lot about yesterday, that two years ago, that's where the Jacksonville Jaguars struggled, in the trenches along the offensive and defensive lines. As well, he's kind of jokingly said, seldom does it follow the script, referring to when these sports analysts make their preseason picks and say the Jacksonville Jaguars will be either 5-11 and or 9-7 and or whatever the case may be. But he says seldom does it follow the script, and he's exactly right. And that's one of the things that, for the most part, I've seen over the last couple years in sports talk radio is fans get caught up in these expectations and these perceptions. Everyone in the national media has this perception of the Jacksonville Jaguars just being some podunk town some podunk team that, yeah, they could maybe make the playoffs. They have a very average quarterback in David Garrard. They have a superstar in Maurice Jones-Drew. And I think for the most part, that is everyone's perception outside of Northeast Florida of the Jacksonville Jaguars, for the most part. Other than that, we get caught up in these expectations of two years ago when there was talk of this team could win the AFC South. They could make the playoffs pretty well and two years ago, one year ago, and then even this year, I think it's kind of not in that rebuilding stage, but kind of getting back on the right track. Maybe making the playoffs. If not, it's still, it was a good year. We, we should be proud of this Jacksonville Jaguars team. So those perceptions and those expectations, we get caught up in them too, way too easily. And, and only disappointment is going to follow that. Unless every year your expectation is 0-16 like the Detroit Lions a couple years back. Or, or if you're a St. Louis Rams fan. But, but it's one of those things, your expectations almost, they're never going to get met, really, for the most part. 
you will always be disappointed. So why go and make those expectations in the first place? Just make something very vague, something pretty broad, and say, yeah, we're gonna, this team is gonna be good. You know, good, maybe not great. They're gonna have some fantastic games where they show up, but it's not gonna be a consistent offense. Do something like that, and I don't wanna be a Debbie Downer, I don't wanna bring you down, but you can't create these expectations or you're just gonna be disappointed year after year. You don't wanna become a Washington Nationals fan. There's no reason for that. You're a Jacksonville Jaguars fan. You should be excited every day. This is a young team, and there's a lot of promise in this organization. And also, in case injury report yesterday, and really teams don't disclose too much, but Deji Kareem, he had thumb surgery a few weeks back. He was limited in practice. Scotty McGee as well did not participate. He had a shoulder injury. And that's one of the better aspects of this Jacksonville Jaguars team is the special teams. They're very special. Two rookies in Kareem and Scotty McGee. McGee will most likely be the punt returner. Kareem will be the kickoff returner. And Kareem should return by week three or week four at the latest. And Josh Scobie, perfect in the preseason from field goals. He looked great from 40 yards and out. Adam Podlish has looked solid. And that's one of the things. It's, it's just like with the left tackle. If the left tackle is not failing and you are not saying his name on a weekly basis, then he's doing a pretty good job. Otherwise, you might hear Adam Podlish's name every single week because he's punting less than 30 yards or 35 yards. But no, the special teams is very special. Kasim Osgood brought in this offseason by the San Diego Chargers. He's that guy that can down the ball inside the five-yard line. Montel Owens, a captain of the special teams unit. Fantastic player. Decent fullback. Great trumpet player. But very good at downing the ball inside the 20-yard line. And those are just some of the key figures in that special teams unit that's going to help this Jaguars team maybe make the playoffs, but I think at least get to 7-9 and nine or 8-8. Eight and eight. So look towards that special teams because it could be very special come this Sunday when Tim Tebow comes to town, which, by the way, Tim Tebow now has his own Twitter page and a website, timtebow.com, which he purchased his sophomore year of high school. Talk about... Is that arrogance or just knowing that you're you're going places? He's going to make a difference. I kind of like that. In the first 12 hours, Tim Tebow had 19,000 followers on Twitter. That's uh, a lot more than I have on Twitter right now. You can find me on Twitter or on Facebook at Miller on Sports. And we're always brought to you by the law offices of Ron Scholes, a law firm of military veterans fighting for you. Go to ronscholespa.com for more information. Or call their 1-800 number, 1-800-384-7575. Also coming up in about 20 minutes, we're going to have Dave Curtis, college football writer with the Sporting News. Talk a lot of college football. Only on Miller on Sports on ABC 1530, WBOB.